Previously on Exploring East Java. Just barely below the equator in Southeast Asia, you'll find the island of Java. In this series, we're spending one week traveling around to some epic places in East Java. We started this journey in Surabaya, then drove five hours south to the region of Lumajang. The highlight for us here was this enormous waterfall called Tupac Seu. But we also had a pretty fun time rafting, even though Pema almost drowned and we did lose a GoPro. It's okay, GoPro's replaceable, you are not. When we left Lumajang, we drove up north to the city of Probolinggo. In this episode, we'll be going on an epic sunrise mission to Mount Bromo but you'll see more of that later. First, we're trying to find a sacred waterfall called Maricaripura. Google Maps told us it was about one hour away from our guest house in Probolingo, but apparently we took a wrong turn somewhere. Maricaripura? Okay. okay. Thank you. Makasi. And this road we are driving on right now is just rocky road. This is crazy. Oh, we're totally fucked. Hi. What about? Maricaripura? Oh, it's down? Yeah. Oh man. Okay. You know how Thank far? Thank you. 30. 30. 30 minutes down. Yeah. No, no here. No, no. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Marcus. All right. Well, everyone's telling us it's downhill, so I'm trying to turn around right now. It's not very easy to turn around on such a narrow, freaking road. <laughs> Man, this is crazy! It's already late. We d we didn't wake up early this morning because we've been waking up so early. I also whoa, uh -huh. whoa! I woke up this morning feeling not very well, and we decided to sleep in. So it's currently now 3 p.m., and we still haven't found the waterfall, which leads me to believe we might not make it there today. But hopefully we can find it. Maybe if we go down and we see more people, we're not gonna trust Google Maps anymore. We'll just ask locals. Even without a waterfall though, these views are gorgeous. Right? Yeah. So pretty. Here come the cicada bugs or whatever these bugs oh that are making God. noise. They're so loud. Listen to this. We're entering this village of bugs that scream when we <laughs> drive by. See what I'm talking about? Listen to this. Okay guys, welcome to the Cicada National Forest of Copalingo. Jalannya bukan di sini. Madikari Pura? Uh, si, tunggu sini yo. Okay. Tunggu si. Oh, what a sweet boy. So this local boy is going to show us the way. So now, we're currently following him there and hopefully he brings us to a place where the waterfall is and not to someone who's gonna kill us. Yeah, <laughs> I was just joking about, oh, would've been nice to meet him an hour ago. Where was he then? <laughs> we have, sorry, uh, the waterfall is closed. It's closed? Yeah. For uh, today? To, uh, to US, yeah, you must come here early. Early oh, okay. evening is better. Okay. Now it's because uh, in the noon is danger area. Rain, Rain. Oh, okay. become a flood. Okay. okay. Yeah. When is the Sorry? best time to come? We can come tomorrow or no? Uh, you can come tomorrow. What, what, time, what time is best? Better the best time? Uh, we open 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. And when is too late? What time is not too, too late? 3 o'clock would be late. 3 o'clock? Yeah, Matt. 3 o'clock. Okay. PM. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Right now it's 3.34. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so it just started raining pretty heavily and I'm pretty sure this is exactly why they did not let us into the waterfall because they warned us that if it starts raining and we go down into the gorge, which is where the waterfall is, uh, there's a chance that flash flooding will make it very dangerous. So they were just looking out for us and I appreciate that. So we're safe. Now we're heading back to where we're staying and we get to stay warm and dry, which is pretty nice. Even though we did not make it to the waterfall, we still had a nice time driving around and seeing the area. We ended up going back to our guest house in Probolingo and going to sleep really early because we wanted to catch sunrise the following morning at Mount Bromo. Good morning guys. It is currently just after 2.30 a.m. and we're about to hop on this motorbike over here and head to Mount Bromo. 
We rode over two hours on the scooter uphill in the dark to arrive just as the sun is about to rise. We wanted to catch the sunrise from a viewpoint near Bromo called King Kong Hill. And to be honest, when we first arrived, I was a little bummed out because there were hundreds of other people here. Although this was just our initial reaction, and that quickly changed as we walked a bit further to notice some trails leading up to a higher viewpoint. We walked up and made it in perfect timing to catch the sun bursting at the horizon, exposing Mount Bromo and this beautiful landscape. Alright guys, so if you can see behind us that big mountain up there, that's where we just were at the King Kong viewpoint. And now we came to the Bromo Crater. This is the actual volcano, but unfortunately we're not allowed up there. It actually erupted three days ago. So there's still a danger warning and they're not letting anyone get any closer than this. But fortunately for us, we have these little devices called drones. So we're about to fly up there to get a bird's eye view instead of walking. So, <laughs> you ready to fly? Yes, sir. Yeah, let's do it. that pretty amazing right well we actually just heard and felt a big rumble and vibration and I think that is basically the volcano telling us to get out of here <laughs> so where are we going now Pema? we are gonna try to hit up Marikaripura waterfall again and I don't think it'll be closed this time because it looks really sunny yeah <laughs> it doesn't look like it's gonna rain hopefully we could redeem ourselves from our mistakes yesterday and today will be an epic day volcano then waterfall first we're gonna try to get some breakfast, so let's get out of here. Driving away from the volcano through the sea of sand, we soon made it out of the national park and into a cute little mountain village. Whoa, nature, nature, I see nature. nature. Nature's in my face. Nature, nature's in my face. On the ride up, it was dark, so we couldn't see anything. And now it was a whole new exciting ride with an amazing view going down. Before we made it to the waterfall, we took a break for some food. And during this time, I explained a bunch of tips and basically everything we just did in detail. It's all great information, so for anyone seriously considering visiting Bromo, I'll make a separate video just for all of these juicy travel tips. And you can find the link to that video in the description below. Helmets on, next stop, Maricaripura. Let's go. <laughs> all right, so we just got to the waterfall. We had to pay 26,000 pesos each for an entry ticket. We also had to pay 5000 for parking. We've been told that it's about a 30 minute walk or sometimes there's guys over here who can offer motorbike rides to the waterfall for 10,000 rupees. So let's see what happens. So we haven't seen any guys with motorbikes. So that kid's got one. We were trying to talk to him asking for a motorbike. I don't think he speaks English. So I just went, you, vroom, 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 huh? And he goes, okay. So I think we're gonna get a ride from this kid. So that kid just drove us maybe two minutes. <laughs> I do not think we needed a ride from that kid. <laughs> and now he's saying that we need a guide to go inside. But hey, just a real quick tip for you guys. Pretty confident you do not need a guide to walk on this clear trail. We ended up just talking to that kid and saying, hey, we're good, we don't need a guide. We ended up giving him some money. We gave him like 30,000 pesos, or not pesos, sorry. <laughs> Still thinking we're in the Philippines. Rubia, and uh, he ended up leaving us. So if someone approaches you at the entrance and offers a guide, you can respectfully decline and just continue on your merry way. 
I think we're about halfway there. I actually have no idea. This is so beautiful. It doesn't even matter. Let's just enjoy this. For me, I just wanted to enjoy being here alone. Like, there's, there aren't other people here. So just me, Steven, and our guide, and I just wanted to be me and Steven enjoying this together. Yeah. It's our cute little romantic nature day. Oh. <gasps> what are you doing, Steve? Well, we have some valuable equipment in this bag, so we're putting it under the raincoat. And now, I feel like a turtle. <laughs> oh, look at you. You're my little turtle man. We are off to see this enchanted waterfall. <laughs> Just remember, don't bathing or swimming at swimming pool. Okay, one last time through these cold showers and then we'll be good to go home. As for the same with Bromo, I'll make another separate video just for anyone who's seriously considering visiting Marikaripura and I'll fill that with travel tips and useful information and again you can find the link in the description of this video. Hey -o. we just made it back to our bike and it started raining but I mean we we're already wet so that wasn't a big deal but now that we have to ride our bike back another hour to Propolingo that might be a little cold but it's okay because today it was pretty amazing. It was really amazing. What was your favorite part of today? My favorite part of today, I don't know if it was watching the sunrise over the sea of sand, sea of sand <laughs> or seeing this waterfall because both are completely out of this world. Yeah, that volcano, I, I wish we were able to go to the crater of the volcano, but we're actually going to be going to another crater very soon called Ejen. Mount Ejen. Mount Ejen. Our goal is to drive to an area near Ejen. What's the area called? Do you remember? Avangwangi. Sure, something like that. That's about a six hour drive from here, according to Google Maps, which is probably going to take us like seven to eight, eight hours. hours. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, guys, we're going to end this episode here. We're going to pick it up tomorrow when we hike Mount Egypt, or maybe we're gonna delay that another day because we're really tired. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, that's gonna be the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you do, please go ahead and click like, leave a comment, and follow us on Instagram if you have that for daily stories and cool other travel things. But for now, we're gonna leave you off with a little preview of what's coming next. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. And that is just insane. We were just in that cloud of smoke.